In this indie spotlight by Twin Rail Game Reviews, we'll be showing off Shovel Knight by Yacht Club Games. Now, Shovel Knight is an excellent, excellent platformer. And as you can see, I've put in about 8 hours into this game. I've completed the game. And I should start the new quest mode one of these days, or new game mode. But for now, we're going to go ahead and show you the first level, just to let you see what it looks like. I've really been enjoying this game. I've collected most of the relics that are in the game. I'm missing one relic. I'm not sure where it is. One of these days, I should probably uh, look at Miiverse and see if anyone can actually tell me where the other relic is. And yeah, backgrounds look fantastic. The artwork, you can see a lot of uh, attention to detail went into this game. You can see the enemies there. And in this game, you're yeah collecting a lot of gold to buy upgrades for your shovel. You have different armors you can purchase. And that's a save point I just went through there. Uh, that one you can't break, but later on in the game, there are most of the levels you can go through and actually break the save point. And by breaking it, you do get extra gems, but by breaking it, you also cannot save there if you were to die. And so you want to choose which saves you break wisely. Unless you're really good at the level and you've gone through it enough times that you can speed through it without having to die, then heck, go ahead, break them all and hope you make it through. And so that uh, propeller blade you saw me just flying across, that's one of the items you get. As you find items throughout the different levels, the, the relics, and that uh, spark there you see is one of the items that you can actually purchase when you do the upgrade purchases in one of the towns. And this game reminds me a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda, the second one for the NES. And that is mainly because of the well, the, the way he attacks. Because you got your attacking along with your spark. And then you've also got your down thrusting, sort of like Link gets when he talks to one of the sword masters in, in one of the towns there in the second Zelda game. And you also got the, the towns themselves. Because on the towns themselves, like you've got the layout. It looks a lot like the Legend of Zelda. There's different towns, different towns, people walking around very Zelda inspired and hey I'm very happy about that I really love this game yeah so I'm just make my way up here kill some of these bad guys I should grab the gem but ah whatever work my way up the uh, as you see on top there by the item that is your magic we'll say and as you use your relics in items then you use up some of that magic and then you collect little little potions that you see coming around once in a while to get your magic back up. Yeah, it's really enjoying the, the enemies there, the different artwork and that little spot in the bottom left there, that is to do some fishing with one of the relics that you get. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually quickly show you that. Go ahead and do some fishing there. Let's wait for the guy to get the little exclamation mark on his head. He can go ahead and there we go. Get some extra coins. So yeah, I see a lot of relics. There's even two chalices that you can buy, which allows you to get potions and stuff throughout the game. Again, which is like Zelda. But the different part of between this and Zelda is you don't actually have to buy the potions. You have to buy the chalice, but not the potions. So there's different types of potions. There's one for healing. I think there was one for invincibility. I don't remember because I really don't use the potions. I try to do the levels without actually having to heal myself that way. And then for the relics, well, the propeller one is one of the main ones that I've actually used. That and there's the one of them which allows you to become invincible for a few seconds. And here you go with the first boss skip through this and you can read through that yourself when you get the game if you haven't already let's go ahead and take on the boss see if we can beat him fairly quickly here since we got the slash attack there looks like he is going down fairly quick now that he's trying to come at me almost dead oh there we go I whooped his butt pretty good didn't even lose any health that's uh, first then again, I haven't played this game in, in a little bit. 
And so yeah, fantastic game. I highly recommend this if you're into platforming games. I don't have too many bad things to say about this. I would definitely recommend going to your local eShop and picking it up. And that's it for this Indie Spotlight.